Hello, I am Victoria Brodsky, aka Tori. I am from Orangeville, California. I work as a project management consulting as well as an entrepreneur. I'm the founder of a uh, hydration beverage company. <clears throat> After completing the core portion of FEMBA, um, I feel extremely blessed and extremely busy, so much so that I literally have recorded this twice. So many of you have seen my first one um, of my second or my first year reflection. And uh, I forgot to mention a lot of my accomplishments that was brought up to me. So I am going back and reflecting on just how much um, was done in the first year. Um, lots of surprises as far as just the tremendous amount of support I got at Anderson uh, for my business, including going through the accelerator, going through Activate program, getting the Wolfen Fellowship, and also playing a part in the Anderson Venture Showcase. So some of the main takeaways from CORE were um, academically that um, just how little quantitative analysis, understanding and experience I had, and just how important that was to what I'm doing right now as an entrepreneur, um, especially when you're on your own. And um, as far as professionally, I did go through the Leadership at Anderson Executive Coaching Program, which I'm still in, and I absolutely love my coach and my experience with her. And that has been tremendous in helping me build my confidence, which is what we discovered was one of my biggest issues uh, coming into Anderson, uh, specifically as an entrepreneur and to become the leader I wanted to be. We had to work on that. Um, uh, like I mentioned before, we went through the accelerator with Drink Light. Um, I was uh, really excited to do the showcase as well in the fall. Um, and after that, we were able to kind of come out with some, um, some potential investors and other potential partner relationships. So all of that was very big and very exciting. So moving into electives, some of the things I'm looking forward to um, are just being able to really like condense and focus on the topics that I'm interested in for, for specialization, um, which is really entrepreneurship. Um, there are, it's, it's definitely a different feel from core. I feel like it's a lot more fast paced. I feel like um, you finally get to really understand what you learned in the first year because you're expected to know um, how to properly analyze a case, um, how to create, you know, financial models and that sort of thing. And so it's actually really exciting to kind of just reflect on what kind of skills and, um, and knowledge that we learned in core um, that's now going to be applied. Um, in addition, I feel that it just kind of gives you more time to do exactly what you're here to do, um, which is like get to really know your teammates, get to really know your professors, and get to really know the material um, that's going to help you the most coming out of Anderson. I am so pleased and honored to um, continue to be a voice of FEMBA. And if I were to repeat CORE again, the advice that I would give to myself is to remember that everything that you're learning in CORE, um, especially if you don't come from a business background um, academically, it's really important that you learn it very earnestly. Um, it's not just something to check off a box. It's something you're definitely going to be using later. Um, in addition, some advice would be not really for me, but I think for other first year FEMBAs, because my first year as a FEMBA was in, um, was we were online, we, we were still quarantined from, from the pandemic. And so I think what I learned from that is just how much FEMBAs really have to kind of advocate for themselves because they do have the full-time job and they're going to school. For other activities, it's really hard to get involved um, properly. So you really have to kind of go that extra step into introducing yourself to faculty and to staff into all the programs that are happening and get out of your comfort zone by talking to people in the other programs, talking to people who are running it. I've been really lucky to experience, for example, ELDP, Entrepreneurship Leadership Development Program, which has been an amazing experience, but I probably wouldn't have done that um, had I not started virtually just because I had more flexibility that way and therefore it allowed me to do more programs. So I would just encourage future FEMBAs to um, in, you know, really try and get involved as much as they possibly can.